Hello and welcome to Excel-BoardTemplates.com. My name is Steve True. Please visit our blog at Excel-BoardTemplates.com so that you're sure to learn the latest Excel techniques for your charts, graphs, templates, and dashboards. All right, today uh, I'm going to show you a little technique that I thought about doing. Um, over in this chart over here, I've got some small values in the stacked column chart. So this value here is pretty small. It's 4. This one here is pretty small. It's 10. Sometimes I don't want to show every single label. Maybe I want to only show certain ones that meet a threshold. So what I've done here is I've created a chart that only shows labels in a stacked column chart uh, with a certain threshold in there. So the labels will change. Uh, so let me change this threshold down to 10 and you'll see that uh, this one now meets that threshold and is showing up. Uh, let's change it up to 35 and you can see only these two labels are now showing up. Uh, let's try 30, just one last one. Uh, nothing else is meeting 30, 25. Uh, you can see we add a new one there at uh, January. So how do we go about doing that? Uh, let me show you. It's kind of a quick, easy process, but uh, the bigger your chart gets, the uh, larger it can be. Um, so the first thing we need to do is we already have our data here set up. Um, what I want to do is I want to create some label areas. So we're going to call this puppy labels and kitten labels. And let me expand those columns a little. There we go. All right, so what I want to do is I want to use this threshold down here in B6 to look at each one of these uh, to determine our labels. So I'm going to do an equals if B2 is greater than or equal to B6, and I'm going to make that an absolute reference. There's a blog post on absolute and relative references in case you're not sure what that is. Um, and if it's greater than or equal to that, then I do want to show that number. If it is not greater than or equal to that, I want to use a blank right there. So in this case, it is actually bigger than that, and then I can just copy this formula down, and then I can copy this formula across. And you can see for 20, uh, the 4 and the 10 are not going to show up in this case. Uh, if I type in 25, we've now lost the 21 is not showing up here. If I raise this up to 35, you'll see just these two are here. And if we go to 36, only the 47 one is going to show up. So um, these, this area here is what we're going to actually use for our labels. But over here is what we're going to use for our chart, the original data. So I'm going to highlight this range. I'm going to go up to my insert ribbon. I'm going to do a column chart and do a stacked column chart. Let me bring that over so you can see it a little better. And we'll make it just a little bit smaller. There we go. Um, so we now have our chart set up. And what we want to do now is we want to click anywhere in the chart, go up to our layout ribbon. From our layout ribbon, we want to go to data labels. And in data labels, we want to do a centered data label. All right, so we are now seeing everything. It's not doing anything with this threshold right now. Every single label is showing up. Um, but what I want to do is I want to first click on any of the labels. You'll see it brings up the, all of the different labels uh, for the entire series. But if I click on them one more time, it is just the label for that individual data point. I now hit my equal sign. And I want to go up to where this 10 is, but it's kitten labels. I'm going to hit enter. Let me bring this down to like say 4 so that we see every single one of these labels up over here. Uh, now I'm going to click on the chart again and we're going to keep doing our labels. Click on the data label once and then make it the data label for just that point. Hit my equal sign and I'm going to look for 28. And there it is. Hit enter. I'm going to click on the series and I'm just going to continue to keep doing this equals and finding the things. Uh, the label values in my uh, labels series over here. Now, if you don't know what I'm doing, I also have another blog post in there on uh, making custom labels um, or custom chart titles. And let's see, hit the equal sign, select four in my labels, and hit enter. So now, what I have done is I have associated every one of these labels with an individual data label section over in this label area. If I change the threshold to five. You'll notice the 4 goes away because in this area here it's a blank. If I change it to uh, let's change it to 11, you'll see the 10 goes away. If I change it to 25, you'll see a lot of other ones go away as well. 
Uh, so that's a way to create custom individual label thresholds for only showing certain labels that you wish to show. Another way to make a neat uh, conditional type chart will work with lots of different ones, any data label series. Uh, it just takes a little bit of work to actually uh, make your labels equal to a specific point. All right, once again, this is uh, Steve equals true. Please visit our blog at excel-boardtemplates.com where you can learn everything about Excel. Thank you.